Behind this door, we have two sides. And another are pieces of history that perhaps your parents and grandparents might remember. 1954, determine. And even some. This is for one of the uh, early stakes races that was founded the same year as the Derby in 1875. That none of us were around for. Not quite as bank robbery as it sounds. Um, we're not spinning, spinning big wheels. You do have to do a bit of twirling, though. Responsible for all of this is Jessica Whitehead. I'm the curator of collections at the Kentucky Derby Museum. There's so much history that can be explored with the Derby because it really mirrors what was happening in um, our, our nation. Her days consist of taking care of this expensive. Still very shiny. And historic. There's little Fonzo who won the 1880 Derby. Collection. Some old, others a little more recent. That was uh, an outfit worn by Cindy Lauper, the pop singer, uh, to the Kentucky Derby in 2012. We're here to preserve other people's stories. That physical history spans almost a century and a half. I'm a caretaker of our permanent collection here at the museum and any loaned artifacts or archival materials that come in. From exhibit to exhibit, this is a small portion of what's actually in the museum. So much of it off limits. We have uh, about 20,000 objects in our collection. Only about 5% of that is on display at any given time. So just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. It's somewhere tucked away in a safe place for years. In very good condition. And years to come.